Muslims, in worldly, outwardly. There is eight lakh Muslims, three lakh Muslims, look like Muslims, appear like Muslims, dress like Muslims, sleep like Muslims, walk like Muslims, sit like Muslims. We are Muslims. We are not kafir. Do not try to be a kafir. Be a Muslim because you are a Muslim. You are a Muslim. So be a Muslim. Do not try to want to be like them in anything. They're on the path of the devil. Well, you're on the path of paradise. Yet you desire to be like them. Isn't that a mere contradiction? However, how many of our brothers and sisters have fallen into the traps of the enemy? How many of our brothers and sisters have fallen, sad to say, into the traps of the enemies? There are many out there that have accepted their kufr, that have even doubted in their kufr, that have even refrained from calling them kufr, that have even praised their kufr. A sister said to me the other day, that John Paul Perth the second, Audu Billah Minhu, is a Muslim. I said, what? Because he's a Muslim. He's only hiding it. People love him. People love the devil and they follow the devil. Are they Muslims? How many people have reverted or sought guidance from the kafar? when it comes to matters of dispute, then going and seeking guidance from Islam. How many people have inclined towards them, relied on them, and used them for, used them for support? How many of us, unfortunately, have aided and supported the kafar against the Muslims? Look at Saudi Arabia. They're using their base, America, the biggest terrorist on earth, it's using Saudi based, Qatar based, Bahrain based, Kuwait based, and all the Arab bases to hit the Muslims. SubhanAllah. How many people, how many people have joined the members of society? How many people have joined the parties? How many people are serving in their forces, whether it is armed forces, the army, the air force, or the police force? And they're Muslims, and they're serving in those kufr forces. I'm a policeman, I'm a big shot. When he has to bow and say, I say whatever the queen says. gives full allegiance to the queen, and he says, I'm a Muslim. How many Muslims have imitated the kafar in their dress, in their appearance. You see, Muslim men wearing big gold chains on their necks, uh, bracelets gold, earrings gold, ankle bracelets gold. You can see that off the street. And yet they say we are Muslim. And they're wearing gold chains, gold necklaces, gold jewelry. It's, it's, it's a, isn't it a contradiction? You say you're a Muslim, yet look at you. You're a Muslim and you're wearing gold? How can you be a Muslim when other slaves do not wear gold? It's a ring of fire on a day of judgment. And yet you say I'm a Muslim? How can you be a Muslim when you're wearing gold? How? And you say I'm a Muslim, I love Muhammad, I love him. Wallah, you're a liar. You are a liar. You love the dunya more than Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Awdhu billah. What about the ladies? Who have unveiled themselves. Worn tight clothes. Or veiled themselves. But yet they are naked with tight clothes, miniskirts, tight pants, makeup, makeup, perfume, 
and I gave it to work. She is doing nothing but resembling the kafirah. That is an absolute resemblance of a non-Muslim lady. And yet she says, I am a Muslim. Oh, my God.